Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanting to do a quick how-to on uh, how to use all of the different rotation nodes in Blueprint. And there's quite a quite a few. I just wanted to go through what it is that they are and what they do. So I've created this uh, sort of grid of objects. They're all parented to this same rotation parent. And then I have add rotation nodes um, and set rotation nodes. So you can see constant rotation will be the ones that are adding and then set rotation I've added a simple input um, that that um, does a bunch of stuff on this bottom row so I'm just gonna go through and start talking about them one at a time and uh, I will open up each uh, blueprint that's driving it as we go so the first we have is this actor local um, and let me do play from current camera location yeah so the first one we have is actor local um, and that's uh, adding a constant rotation so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and what it's doing is it's add actor local rotation that's the node that we're going to talk about here and what it's doing is it's taking the axes of this actor so if if you hit this this is going to show the local axes of this actor and it's adding a rotation around so I have three here it's actually doing the it should say in the uh, tool tip here but it adds the rotation around the axis that you specify here so in this case I've specified three around the z-axis which is this blue one and it's the actors local z-axis so when we play it'll rotate around the act the entire actors local z-axis the next we have actor world which does what you would expect um, so in this case open it up add actor world rotation and again around the z-axis uh, so in this case uh, it's not using the local axes it's using the world axes and it's rotating around the z-axis and world coordinates now uh, the reason I have two cubes here is because I wanted to do component local uh, relative and world as well so when I play this you can see that it's rotating around the components z-axis so if I open this up we'll go into the viewport and take a look you notice that this is tilted like that in here um, so the entire actor is tilted in this case um, it's tilted at 40 degrees along its uh, around its x-axis uh, and inside the uh, com the I'm sorry inside the blueprint I've also tilted the component and why that's important is you can say um, you can see that this is not rotating around the z-axis of the actor which is this way and it's not rotating around the world axes either it's rotating around the z-axis of just this component so that uh, that node is the add local rotation for just this cube here next we have component relative um, and so what this is doing is it's uh, adding a rotation around the z-axis relative to the component's parent so in this case the component's parent is the actor so it's adding a relative rotation around the parent in this case the actors z-axis um, and that node is this add relative rotation so that's uh, notably different than local rotation which is around the components axes itself this is about the relative rotation relative to its parent um, and then lastly we have the component world which is this node here add world rotation and this as you would expect adds rotation on the world z-axis so not the actors z-axis not relative to its parent but relative to the world itself um, and so that's in each of these it's just every tickets adding the that uh, local relative or world rotation to either the actor or the component now uh, down here we have a set rotation uh, so I'll go ahead and click over to the other set and um, what this is this there's some caveats to this so set rotation I have actor local but if I open up the actor local WTF there's no node for it and you won't be able to find it if you try to set local you can't set anything local and the reason is because locally its axes are always considered at zero right 
it's always zeroed out. So no matter what I do to this, its local uh, rotation is uh, zero. And why that matters is because if I were to set a local rotation, that would just be, you know, let's say it's at zero, 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 and I set a local rotation of zero, zero, three, that's just adding three. So the add local uh, rotation is everything that you should need to handle local. And that's going to be the same for the component component as well. If I open up the component locals, there's no node that works for that. Even if I come out from the cube here, I can set local and local offset is a position thing. And that's the only thing you'll see. So there's no local rotation. But what we do have is set world uh, set actor rotation, which is going to set the rotation in the world. So in this case, I'm setting it to zero, zero, zero. So if I press F here, there you go. It just sets it to zero, zero, zero. So that's the same as when I drag it out up there. That just goes like that. Uh, and then we have component relative, which is going to set the component, this cube, it's going to set it to zero, zero, zero relative to its parent. So what we should see is this cube aligned to the axes that the parent is, uh, to the parent's local axes. So I'll press F and there you go. And that's true no matter what I do. It will always line it up to be relatively zeroed out. Um, and then the last one is the, set the component's world rotation. So in this case, what, what we have is the cube setting the world rotation and when i press f it's going to set it notice it's not aligned with the cube because it's setting it to zero 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 in world space so it's setting the rotation to zero relative to the world whereas this one is now relative to the cube so that's all of the different rotation options that you have in the blueprint, uh, all of the basic ones. There's also uh, more complicated ones that I can get into in a different video if people would like, where you can s rotate X, Y, and so on and so forth. Um, and you can basically uh, come up with a vector that describes an axis. So in this case, it's using the predetermined three axes of either the world, the actor or the component, but there are rotation nodes that use uh, a prescribed axis, whatever vector you want to give it, and it rotates it around that. So I can do a tutorial on those if people would like, but hopefully this was helpful as an intro into the different rotational nodes that are available in Blueprints. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys out next time.